Hi and welcome to another Pick a Card general reading. Today's reading is a quick turn of events. I kind of wanted to smash this reading out early. It wasn't the reading I was expecting to do, but obviously there are a lot of things going on in the world at the moment, especially at the time that you are, well, that I've uploaded this video. So I want this reading to break up our usual trend of love and <laughs> looking forward um, to offer perhaps some clarity and honestly hope. Is, is what I'm aiming for. As always, I intend for these messages to be honest. I don't like to pretend that I'm seeing something that I'm not. That's just not in my nature and that's not the purpose of this channel. With that being said, we are going to be focusing on hope. And regardless of what comes through, I will be, for example, if we're encountering challenges, um, I will definitely be pulling additional cards to help us overcome those challenges. So the topic today is what is going to be happening seven days from now. This is intended to be a timeless reading, um, meaning that whenever this video finds you is when you are meant to see it. However, if you are watching this exactly when it is uploaded, um, by all means, take time to choose which of these four groups you feel most called to and really make sure that you are focusing on the energy um, of these four groups as well. I'm kind of using four different types of quartz today, kind of because I don't actually know what the hell this is. So the first group, you actually have the rose quartz crystal. You can see my calluses on my palms, goodness. That's from going to the gym. Group two, you have the clear quartz crystal today. In group three, you have the raw, very, oh my days. <laughs> Sorry for those of you wearing headphones. <laughs> you have the very raw quartz. So this was plucked straight from the rivers near where I live. And group four, another river crystal. This is this is just a beautiful rock that seems to be granite type or have small embellishings of quartz throughout it. But it's very, very grounding part of nature for me. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I've rambled a lot. Those are the four groups. The topic is, what can you expect seven days from now, intended to be a timeless reading? Do your wonderful, weird, wild methods to figure out which of these four groups you're feeling most called to. And when you know, check the description box below for your timestamps and join me in your reading. Hi, group one, and welcome. If you chose the Rose Quartz Crystal, then this is going to be your reading. Now, I haven't filmed in this location in a while, so, just a little heads up about Kirk. We've got him, <laughs> my cat, desperate to get out, but we saw a snake a few days ago, so he's not going outside. I also have my washing on. <laughs> I'm going to aim for this reading to be least disruptive, but listen, life happens, and that is why we are here today. I actually intended on doing the 2021 Love Predictions video, but that just wasn't the purpose apparently we're here to talk about what you can expect seven days from now now rose quartz is a beautiful crystal that promotes love um, unconditional love the idea of selfless love loving from within um, so that could be a good foundation but let's have a look at what messages come through i first want to approach the challenges that you may face seven days from now for group one please what challenges may they face seven days from now we have the ten of swords in reverse so actually i'll give you a good look at this card however the messages aren't that severe this card is actually talking about ending a tough cycle it's about coming to realization of where you may need to change your actions, your way of thinking, or a painful um, communicative issue. It's almost like overcoming silence, or overcoming lack of inaction, or overcoming repetitive action, or overcoming repetitive words. It's this feeling of a tough cycle being broken by way of action or communication. This is a challenge though, because it's taken a long time to get to this point. I say that with a grain of salt. The swords are fast moving energies, my group one. So for some of you, it feels too sudden. Or for others of you, it's been a long time coming, but the action has, has taken you a while to muster up. Um, this is the end of a difficult cycle though. And the main reason that this has to happen is because there are better days ahead. The crux of this card at the top is the sun. And the sun for me right now is looking like 
you needing to focus on your happiness, having to make a difficult decision that comes down to, well, what is going to make me happy? And I think that that is why this is a challenge because the bottom of this card shows our Gemini. Gemini is a dual energy of yes or no, black or white, A or B, this or that, needing to make a clear decision and sticking to it. Um, forming this decision around your happiness will make it a lot easier for you to transition towards. I think that the confusion is, is your logical mind talking about what potentially may be a harmful mistake or what, how this mistake may negatively impact you. But I firmly believe that following what is going to make you happy will make this decision a lot easier. So that was your challenge. In the next seven days, what blessings might group one receive? In the next seven days, what blessings might group one receive? In the next seven days. You guys got the fool in the reverse. Ooh. Um, and the ace of wands in the reverse. So two new beginnings. But why are they reversed? Let's have a look at this properly. So the fool's energy is a feeling of taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Unknown. Ironically, when I picked this card up, my group ones, my primary energy was like um, rejection is divine protection. And I almost feel like this is a feeling of a missed opportunity here. I didn't see the Ace of Wands, but that's the Ace of Wands energy. Not necessarily a missed opportunity, but when it's reversed, it's a feeling of rebirth. It's a feeling of um, a false start or canceled plans, needing to repurpose energy to form a new direction. And I feel like this is your blessing because it's, it's either something that has already happened and failed or it's something that you never really perceived to happen in the first place. The full reverse, though, is, is giving me um, a lot of false start energy. So I don't know if <laughs> this is a blessing because it doesn't need to be a foolish thing. It doesn't have to happen spontaneously or in a way that um, is uncalculated. I feel like this is very much calculated. I feel like as much as there is a need for a new beginning over here, it's happening at a slower pace that maybe has a lot of thought, a lot of plan, and potentially a lot of um, slow starting energy is what it feels like. This is a blessing though, because I did feel that rejection is divine protection. So there is a feeling as though something didn't happen the way that it was supposed to. And that is actually exactly how it was supposed to happen. Um, it's almost like this is a chance for a do-over for some of you or a, a do-over in a completely different direction now. We're starting something that maybe we never thought that we could. The Fool's energy is ruled by, we're actually seeing Pluto on there as well, but I mostly associate the pool with the Fool with my mouth. I had a coffee, I swear, my mouth is just not working. Um, I mostly associate the full with Uranus and this idea of Aquarius and being unique and inventive and and going against the grain. And the full has a level of innocence here. So I feel like this card is talking about you're wiser now. When this opportunity comes, you can use what you've learned to change the energy so that it doesn't fail in the way that it has in the past, whether it's the exact same situation or a similar setting but different circumstances. It really feels like you've learned now. You're not actually a fool and this is happening in a way that you don't have to feel like you're um, completely um, naive and foolish as well. So we've looked at your challenge. We've looked at a potential blessing. I want to look at the in-between. What else is going on for my group ones seven days from now? What else is happening for my group one seven days from now? We've got the universe, <laughs> my days, we've got the universe reversed. So something isn't over yet. With the universe reversed, this is like we haven't completed something yet. Although we're completing this tough cycle here with communication and action, we're almost hitting breaking point, actually. That's why this is challenging, because some of you, you really need to communicate to someone or you really want to, or you really need to do something. <laughs> and it's like, it finally hits breaking point here. We have to end this cycle and focus on what is going to make us happy. We're not playing games anymore. We're not 
making this more complicated than it needs to be anymore. We're focusing purely on our happiness and we're moving in that direction. Now, the main reason that we're doing this is because a cycle in your life has not finished yet. And when I talk about a cycle, I mean, this is your whole um, life right now. This is your, your major journey that you're on. This is the last card in the major arcana. You are yet to complete a very significant um, quest in your journey. And you can't do that until um, you end this tough cycle. It's almost like you need this in order to fully complete this. Now, the universe card talks about a cause for celebration, a cause for um, like culminating something in a, in a celebratory way, in a way that you feel like you've accomplished something. When it's reversed, it's like we're not quite there yet. We're not quite ready to finish this yet because if we do, we can't celebrate. So Spirit's almost asking you, slow it down a little bit and re-examine this from another angle. The next seven days, you're going to have the opportunity to redo something so that you have you can celebrate that ending instead of feeling like, did I make the right choice? With the King of Cups reversed, you are asking, you are being asked to open your heart here. I feel like you could be having a meaningful heart to heart conversation with somebody, but the King of Cups is more so about um, allowing yourself to feel. Because sometimes this can be a very emotionally manipulative energy. It can be someone who is too in control of their emotions and so self-aware of their own emotions that they're able to emotionally manipulate other people. And in this situation, you're really being called to remove that mask and honor your feelings. Feel how you feel and let your feelings guide you towards your happiness. Even if the primary feeling um, is is sadness. Let that sadness happen so that it can pass and you can be more connected to your happiness. I definitely feel like your emotions are going to be a little bit up and down, um, mostly because some of you are communicating with someone in the next seven days or seven days from now that is going to really trigger some deep feelings. It's going to really leave you feeling unsettled. And my primary word that I'm feeling is vulnerable. Some of you are not comfortable with feeling this vulnerable um, because you're afraid that this person will use that information against you or perhaps they won't reciprocate, but I don't see that. I see that you being honest and authentic to how you feel is going to pay off. The other card I have is the Two of Wands here. So the Two of Wands is talking about um, analyzing your horizon. I definitely think you do need to make a decision. There's a passionate energy around this card as well. Um, creative solutions to the problems that you are facing. But I also feel like this card is causing for you to expand your vision here. Um, the Two of Wands can be a card about needing to really just set your vision straight and move in a specific direction because the duality here is, is almost confusing you more than it needs to. I feel like you're in planning mode right now. And seven days from now, those plans are going to feel more passionate. This card is showing me a lot of Aries and Mars energy. And those are very proactive, um, determined energies of achieving things, regardless of what other people think. They follow what they feel is right in order to achieve their goals. And even if at this stage, it's, it's not so much um, blindly, you know, going in one direction, but certainly curiously entertaining your options to the point where you are being inquisitive, you are asking questions, you are researching, you are looking into where you want to be in this life and who you want to be with for some of you. That keeps coming up probably because of the rose quartz. It's really about doing the research so that you can feel more comfortable with the choices that you make because there is passion here behind this card and I think that this passion is going to lead to you feeling very determined to, to move in one specific direction. You just need to kind of explore the, this option more. Bottom deck energy is the six of pentacles reverse. So ironically, you're being called to be more selfish here. And I think that some of you need to hear that because selfish is a negatively geared word by our societies. We don't perceive that word to be positive, but it is completely necessary. We can't make everybody happy. So the very least we can do is focus on our own happiness. And I think that that is your overall message here. Seven days from now, you are going to feel selfish because you have to make a very serious decision eventually, maybe not seven days from now, but eventually. Um, and seven days from now, you're really just 
trying to collate information and get some serious um, research done so that you feel more comfortable in whatever opportunity you make. Because honestly, seven days from now, your biggest blessing is that you have the opportunity to do something again in the right way, in a way that is going to offer you um, the passion that you've been lacking is what I feel. So I'm going to pull some other cards. We've got the beautiful deck of character. Group one, please, spirit. What can you tell us about their seven days from now? Group one, we have the majestic whale. <laughs> That's interesting. I just feel sonar with this sonar. So someone, some of you may feel very connected to music right now. Music may be trying to offer you messages. You do have songs with this reading too, if you would like to have a look at the lyrics. So there could be additional messages in those lyrics. But Sonar, I feel like there's so much subliminal messaging surrounding you that is trying to guide you through this. For example, your dreams. It just feels like the not so obvious stuff is, is really trying to guide you towards the right decision here. You may be feeling like... Um, it's almost like pay attention to the signs because you may be feeling like obviously everything is pointing to this, but I definitely feel like there's all this subliminal stuff that's happening in your dreams, through music, um, your feelings. The majestic whale is a, is a water creature that comes back down to your emotions, honoring how you feel. The majestic whale is also a slow moving large entity. So it almost feels like with the Saturn energy on this universe card, this has been a slow, 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 gradual thing. And now that we're on the precipice of making it happen, it feels like, is can we really pull it off? Can we really reel in that whale? Can we finally make this happen? And I definitely think that it is possible. I feel this energy gaining momentum. It is really down to you honoring your feelings and taking that leap. Um, what else can you tell us from this deck of character seven days from now for my group ones? We have fuel. <laughs> I just heard we didn't start the fire. Is that Bruce Springsteen? No. Anyway, I've been listening to songs from the 80s lately. Um, fuel is, is saying that there is stuff happening in the background. I think that you may have encountered an event recently that was a little bit of a catalyst for this change. Um, I want to say that it has been burning for some time as well, but fuel is, is giving me like fast changing energy. So I really feel like if you come to the party with the right fuel, this situation could change very quickly, which is why you do need to research all your options here with the two of wands. You need to really inquisitively follow that passionate urge to get more information because it could change very quickly. I feel like fuel is saying that this is, an opportunity for your circumstances to take almost a completely new direction. Um, even if this isn't love, if this is a job opportunity or some sort of other relationship, it just feels like this is, is changing. It's happening in a way that you're going to have the opportunity to change the circumstances fast and very soon. Any other cards from this deck, please? We have Sprout. There we go. We've got growth here. We have this change is as, as quickly as it changes, as quickly as it happens. Um, I feel like the intention here is for slow growth, something that is substantial, something that is going to take root naturally and grow naturally over time. This is giving me solid foundation energy, even though it is passionate, even though the fiery nature of this makes it feel like it's just going to be quick it really does feel like romance, but listen, I'm trying to keep it general. Even though it feels like it's just going to be a once in a one time thing, I actually feel like the intention behind this blessing is that it will eventuate into something very solid in your life, very grounded, very stable, and something that continues growing. When I look at the sprout, that's not a tree. That's something that is still growing. That's something that hasn't... Um, stopped growing. It's in the early stages here. It has the ability to continue its life cycle. So we also have naked man. So listen, you've got to be vulnerable in order to pull this off. You've got to honor your feelings. You've got to take off that mask, take off that layer of protection. Um, please don't <laughs> get a fine for public nudity, but metaphorically speaking, you've got to take off that layer of protection in order to really embrace this opportunity for what it is. So my group ones, what affirmation would be helpful for them seven days from now? What affirmation would be helpful seven days from now? <laughs> Any
any day now, please. What what card is going to be helpful for my group one? Shinkya. We have attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So I feel like somebody may be pushing themselves onto you in the sense of making you feel guilty for the way that they feel. Again, it comes down to we can't make everybody happy. So the very least thing we can do is try to make ourselves happy. This card is, is really asking for you to make peace with whatever choice you make, um, trusting that it's, it's aimed at procuring your own happiness. I'm using a lot of big words today. I haven't even been reading a lot lately, so I don't know where they're coming from. But I really feel like this card with the purple, it's about trusting your intuition here, trusting your intuitive downloads, trusting that you deserve happiness, that this tough cycle will end, and that this new beginning is, is literally there waiting for you to step towards it, honoring your feelings, really exploring your options, and, and making sure that you of exploring those feelings because I feel like your feelings and the passion is really trying to push you somewhere. Even though this is about making a decision, it feels like one line. You have one line forward from this and this isn't over yet. This is You're having the opportunity to do things right so that we can finally close this quest in your journey. Really paying attention to the subliminal signs. This is the opportunity to change fast, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be here for a while. This is slow growth, removing that protective layer to allow people to be closer to your authentic self. And I feel with the Six of Pentacles, selfish doesn't need to be so negatively geared. Selfish is about honoring your happiness, what will make you happy, and what is going to be the best choice for you to make. Selfish doesn't have to be a negatively geared word. Bottom deck energy for you is the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. And that literally summarizes this reading so well. Group one, that is the message that I have for you. That is your seven days from now. I hope that was insightful or at least confirming to something that you're already experiencing perhaps. Please look after your wonderful selves. Do have a look at your songs. Um, there may be additional messages in the lyrics and I shall see you in another video. Bye. Hi group two and welcome. If you chose this clear quartz crystal, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to put that over there for now. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've filmed. I'm so excited to see you guys. In the sense that it's been so long since I've filmed like this. I've been filming in very <laughs> unconventional places, mostly to honor the other members of this beautiful household. And also just to um, give myself a little bit of a change of routine. I'm a stubborn Capricorn. We get stuck in our energy sometimes. Seven days from now, we're going to explore your potential challenge first. And then we're going to look at your blessings. Then we're going to look at in general. And then we're going to get advice. So it's going to be fairly in depth. Group two, what potential challenge may they face seven days from now? Oh my days, listen, this is a lot of cards. What's going on for you guys? Let's have a look. The Wheel of Fortune upright. The challenging situation is that your luck is changing. And either you weren't expecting it or you weren't expecting it to happen like this. Justice is being served, okay? Your happiness is coming true, but this isn't over yet. You still need to work hard towards this goal. So you're starting to receive, see, this is interesting. I'm not seeing a lot of challenge here. <laughs> I think your challenge is accepting this blessing into your life and really continuing using this as a sign that you're on the right path. The Wheel of Fortune upright is a blessing, but it feels like this is a challenge for you because you struggle to accept that this circumstance is happening for you, um, not to you. Perhaps it takes you a little while to perceive your circumstances as a blessing. I do feel a change of events here. The Wheel of Fortune is an energy occupied by Jupiter, so it, it is spontaneous. And at times, the spontaneous nature is jarring. We perceive that as a negative change. But actually, um, this is something that is attempting to steer you on the right path. It's also attempting to build up your hope so that you can continue the path that you're on to achieve further success. The Justice card here is a sense of duality, things coming together as they are intended to. There's more Saturn energy on this card. It's primarily Libra though. So that card is really just strongly talking about a balancing of the scales here, bringing the light and the dark together, um, 
I do feel that this is confronting because I'm seeing the Lord of Truth. So the truth is being revealed in this situation and justice is being served. This is jarring for you, though, because the balance of it all brings um, the darkness as well as the light. Although we are having this happen to our favor in the sense that light conquers, we're also seeing the darkness of this situation. We're also seeing the worst case scenario or the worst parts of our society. I feel like this is pretty big for you guys. Um, the Nine of Cups is saying that we're having a wish fulfillment here. There's more Jupiter energy on this card. There's also Pisces, so a lot of um, Sagittarius energy over here. I definitely feel like, um, or Jupiter in general, I should say, um, this is something that you have been hoping for, but maybe you lost a little bit of hope, and that's why this is happening, to maintain your hope, to, to continue um, this journey of, of staying hopeful because I firmly believe that whatever's happening here, it is going to happen in your favor. And the challenge is for you to continue doing what you're doing. With the universe reversed, um, this isn't the be all end all. We've still got a little bit further to go. <laughs> We've not yet finished this cycle. And this is a challenge because it's overall a blessing, but it's pushing for you to continue with your effort to not give up whatever you are doing here. And it could be something that is related to your personal journey because this is the universe card. It's about your personal growth. It also filters into your career development or some sort of project that you may have been working on, but it is about your personal growth and not giving up. So let's have a look at the blessing that you may receive seven days from now. Group two, what blessings may they receive? We have the five of cups with the page of cups reversed. So you've got to appreciate a lot of different aspects of people's emotions here. And it's a blessing because we're having the opportunity to see things as they are. I feel like we're being... Un how do I word this? It's so strange that your blessing is, is pessimistic and your challenge is optimism. I feel like the challenge right now is maintaining optimism because you're almost too wired to perceive reality as um, from a uh, pessimistic standpoint right now. And I don't mean to judge. I'm just talking about the energy as I see it. I personally struggle with pessimism as well. It just feels like the Five of Cups energy here is that something is happening exactly as you expected it to. And the reason why this is a blessing is because it not only confirms what you have been feeling, but it also confirms that um, when you know better, you kind of do better. Like, I feel like the fact that you predicted this or you expected it helps you get over this a lot quicker. The Five of Cups is a feeling of emotional loss. It's a feeling of an emotional challenge, something pulling at your heart space. And with the princess of cups being here as well there's a feeling as though this is happening unapologetically in a way that wisens you up you're no fool now to to emotional issues like this you feel like you know more from this circumstance you feel like this situation has offered you experience in this area in a way that you are more attuned to the natures of people if that makes sense I feel like there's a sense of closure here, but it didn't come directly from the source. You've had to make peace with human nature within, if that makes sense, and the way that people operate, the way that emotions are handled. This is a blessing because it's it's leveling you up. It's making you more aware of, of people. It's very bizarre, if I'm honest. You're... Um, in a period of emotional growth right now and I feel like your journey is really about embracing the truth embracing optimism while also being re pessimistically realistic because you do need to appreciate your circumstances for what they are and you're doing your best to do that while still working on your goals and I feel with the five of cups you overcome this challenge that is the main blessing here you're overcoming whatever emotional challenge you are facing whether that's a feeling of loss or a restriction or just feeling as though people's you've you've almost lost faith in the way that people act towards each other here with the page of cups but you're also being offered a glimmer of hope in your challenge of staying optimistic because you are experiencing some sort of emotional fulfillment here it's just maybe not happening in the way that you had hoped it would it's not happening in the way that you had hoped your success to be I wish I could flip these because that would make more sense. But the reality is that 
your challenge is to stay optimistic and your blessing is that pessimistically reality happened exactly as you expected it to. You're able to process it now and you're able to move forward now. You're able to be wiser now. You're able to gain experience from that now and you're able to focus now on your journey ahead. So that is what I'm seeing. I'm going to get some more tarot to see what the next seven days will be like in general as well. For group two, please, what is generally happening for them seven days from now? There is an unapologetic nature to this as well. Whatever blessing you receive, whatever clarity you receive, whatever truth comes towards you, you are unapologetically embracing that truth regardless of what other people think of you. Regardless of how other people may choose to act or how other people feel, it's about embracing that truth with the Page of Cups reversed because you're not as inexperienced as um, your circumstances are leading you to believe. Am I continuing... No, I'll just take these. So your bottom deck energy is the high priestess. There's a lot of um, confirming what you've intuitively believed here with the high priestess being your bottom deck energy as well as what I was picking up over here. I feel like your intuition told you about this and that's why it's a blessing because it's over now. We can move forward. The high priestess is asking for you to... Um, seek a more passive nature, if that makes sense, um, to really stand in your power. I want to say that there's a lot of um, noise and silence as well. There's a lot of power in being silent. And I don't think that that's necessarily the weaker approach in your circumstance. I feel like you gain power from that position because you're able to see more. You're able to observe more. You're able to um, feel more in that situation as well. The high priestess is, is almost indicating that there's more to this situation than you're seeing and that standing in your power by remaining passive and, and silent and observant is going to offer you a, a higher standpoint here. Some of you may feel called to offer other people advice as well as a message that I'm getting. It's almost like you're in the position now of, of people coming to you for clarity, for information, for advice. You may be a content creator and people may be really wanting you to push more content out to help them. I really feel like um, there's a passiveness here, but there's so much power here. There's so much influence to the point where others are seeking that power and that influence. The first card that came out was the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands upright is a very attractive power. It's almost like um, you are attracting something into your to your life with this energy, this um, law of attraction energy. I feel like the next seven days from now is about honoring that ability and really using it to your advantage here. I definitely feel like you have some sort of audience at seven days from now. It feels like people are watching you. They have the opportunity to be in your energy and to really observe you. It's almost like they're... Um, there, there's a little bit of jealousy around you as well. I do need to say that. I don't normally like to drop those things, but it came to mind. There's an energy of people watching you, not that they want you to fail, but I feel like they're curious about your talent, whatever that that is, your creativity or or the path that you're on because it feels very passionate right now. It feels like you're going somewhere and people want to know where you're going and, and whether that's going to pay off. Now we also have the Eight of Pentacles here, Reverse. So this is Virgo energy. I feel like it is time to um, take whatever success that you've, you've made and to really come out of the light, uh, come out of the darkness. I almost feel like you're being called to come out of some sort of cave to finish this off. If you want to keep working on this, you have to either collaborate with others or you have to do it in a way that isn't so secretive. I almost feel like you're working on something right now that, that needs to be publicized. People need to know about it. They need to see it. They need to hear about it. Um, there may be someone who can help you finish this off. There is a delay in this project and spirits indicating that you could fast track it through the collaboration of others. You don't have to do this alone. Um, whatever delays you're experiencing here, they're happening for a reason. And some of you, this project can't be completed until you've faced this challenge over here of staying optimistic in terms of your emotions. I definitely feel like there's a pause button on something that you're working on and collaborating with other people to make that happen um, 
could help because you're really being called to not give up and to not lose hope. That is the main energy that I'm feeling in your group, especially. Um, not so much for group one, they were very different, but yours is really about like maintaining optimism. That's your challenge. We have the Ace of Wands here, so there is going to be a false start. With the Ace of Wands reversed, someone may cancel plans. An opportunity may be happening in a way that you weren't expecting. I definitely feel like there could be a change of events. Seven days from now, it's something that you were looking forward to. It's something that maybe you were feeling very passionate about. Um, but I definitely feel like it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It's just going to happen in a different way. And I feel that whatever this cancellation is, it's really intended to free you up so that you're able to focus more on your feelings because you have a lot of energy here that's really focusing on your emotions and what you're emotively going through. So I feel like even if it's like as simple as you were hoping to go out with friends or you were hoping to start a new project or a new hobby or um, a new TV show, you know, it feels like this is, this isn't happening the way that you were, you were expecting it to. It may be canceled altogether. It may just be a false start because you do need to focus on other areas of your life, primarily your emotions right now. The devil at the end of your spread is indicating that there's going to be um, a challenge here of, oh, I don't want to say challenge. I've been throwing that word around a lot for you, and I don't mean to trigger that a feeling of oh, why am I facing so many challenges. It's not that this is going to be a tricky challenge. It's just that you're going to feel bound to some sort of responsibility here with the devil card. You don't necessarily want to do it, but it feels familiar and it's something that you're a part of, so you're going to do it anyway. It could be as simple as you're feeling bound by family obligations or you're feeling bound by some sort of relationship because they've been in your life for so long or because they hold this title, you have to fulfill their needs. This card is really challenging you to observe this for what it is and to really look at what you're getting out of this situation. Is it worth fulfilling that responsibility? Um, why are you doing this? Could you cancel this to free you up instead? It's almost like you're having to sacrifice something over here, like your, your work obligations or your passions in order to fulfill this. And some of you don't want to do it. Others of you, it's necessary to in order for you to break out of it. You have to confront this devil once and for all. You have to call it out for what it is. Um, you have to acknowledge that it isn't necessarily making you happy. It's maybe fulfilling some of your needs, but it's not something that is offering you growth. This devil card, it's attractive because it does gratify instant needs. It does gratify something, but it, it doesn't gratify our growth. That is why the devil card will show up in the spread is because for now it's okay, but long term it's going to eat away at us. So it's up to you. Seven days from now, this is going to happen. You're going to feel called into something. Um, it could be as simple as binge watching your favorite show, <laughs> you know, even though you've got other things that you could be focusing on. Spirit is just saying that something is going to happen and you're going to know it because it isn't going to genuinely make you happy this time. It isn't going to give you that, that familiar feeling of comfort anymore. And you're going to feel like maybe I need to break out of this. Maybe I need to explore my other options. Maybe I need to focus more on what is going to make me happy. So let's get some other cards to have a look at what's going to happen seven days from now. I'm going to use the deck of character. So let's make some room over here. What can my group twos expect seven days from now? Hello. Okay, you're not measuring up. All right, so you need to know that something in your life isn't measuring up. Something in your life isn't quite the way that you were planning it to happen. And this is happening exactly as it was intended to because there are other areas of your life that you should be focusing on. I feel like you are going through some sort of loss, but it's actually a blessing. It's a blessing that you're able to close this cycle so that you can focus on other areas of your life. Your goal is to remain optimistic, but there is something happening in this next or well, seven days from now that is going to be leaving so that you have room for more because I feel like it's not measuring up. It's just not fulfilling you. It's not 
fulfilling your growth. It's not allowing you to be the person that you can be. I feel like this may be a struggle for some of you because you're very loyal with this dog here, but the dog is actually a watchdog. So I feel like you have protection. I feel like you have loyalty around you. You have people who will support your actions, your decisions. There's also this need to um, call on those who understand if you feel that you need support, the right people. Um, when I think of a watchdog, I think of someone who is fiercely devoted and loyal. Like dogs are just, wow, we don't deserve them, <laughs> but they're there. So call on them for support. Literally rely on those who genuinely understand you and who will support your decisions. Um, this card is just saying that you have those people in your life. It doesn't need to be um, an isolating choice where you feel like you're the scum of the earth for some of you. This is a really strong responsibility over here that you are really going to struggle to honor or to break out of because there's a sense of loyalty. Um, and I think that honestly, Grim Reaper is here to say it's over, like it's time. Um, it's up to you. You're in control of your choices. But the next seven days from now, you're going to have some sort of revelation about what is right for you and where your feelings are steering you as well. I feel like you're being called to focus less on a project and that you will have some sort of false start that is allowing you to focus your energy elsewhere. Um, this ending is going to lead to a very successful new beginning with the gold mine here. I feel like you have a lot of success out there waiting for you. You are going to see hints of that success in the next seven days or seven days from now as well, because we did have your wish coming true up here. We've got the wheel of fortune, the nine of cups and justice up here saying green light, but you're seeing this as a challenge because some of you are seeing this as something that is too good to be true. I think that your biggest challenge is staying optimistic here and maintaining hope because the gold mine is there and you have the keys to it. You just got to get on board. Now, the bottom deck energy is river. So there is movement here. I definitely feel a movement of emotions, an undercurrent of feelings that are, are hard to ignore. You're, it's building. It's almost like it's getting swollen now. This river is swelling and it's time for those feelings to come out. It's time for this cycle to end, it's time for this challenge to be experienced so that we can move forward. We can take this experience for what it is and move forward. It's time for us to acknowledge our responsibilities for what they are and to really appreciate the circumstances for exactly what they are. While this situation may gratify some of our needs, it isn't fulfilling our growth. It isn't contributing towards who we are meant to be. And the river is calling for movement. It is also a subtle energy though, similar to the high priestess. It's an undercurrent of feelings. It is very much an internal process. And I feel that a lot of people are going to be surprised once this internal energy starts to reflect your external as well, because it's all building to you changing your external circumstances. But this change has to come from within first. So to close your reading, we're going to have a look at what affirmation card may be most helpful to you seven days from now. I honor how I want to feel. It is what it is. You can't control your feelings, but you do need to honor them. Even if that primary feeling is sadness, let it happen so that you can embrace the happiness within. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Yes, I definitely feel like this is a passive energy of going inwards in order to really appreciate what you were feeling. With the High Priestess here, there is power in silence. There's a lot of reflection here. And I feel that some of you are in a position of offering other people guidance based on what you were feeling and what you were going through as well. Um, instigating those moments of peace so that you're able to work through whatever challenges you may face and so that you're able to really appreciate your success for what it is because you are going to have the opportunity to be successful here. It's about flipping that mentality though and embracing this from an optimistic point of view. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Absolutely. The universe is out here trying to make this happen for you, but it's about you embracing your peace and surrendering to this moment. So group two, that's the message I have for you. Seven days from now, I hope it was informative, insightful, or at least confirmed things that you already know. Do look after yourselves. Remember that you have the ability to create your future through the actions of your present. 
don't take an L on today. It's just going to keep building. Look after your beautiful self. Sending you so much love and light from this side of the world. And I shall see you in another video. <laughs> Bye. Hi, group three, and welcome. If you chose... Oh, my days. That's the second time I've dropped this crystal. Wow. If you've chosen this raw quartz crystal, then this is going to be your reading. So group three, we're doing the seven days from now timeless reading. I did have another reading planned, but with the way that the world's going right now, I thought that this one is much more what the collective needs. So I will do that reading at a later date, probably on Sunday if I have time. That can be our extended. But group three, seven days from now, we're going to have a look at the potential challenge that you'll be facing first. So group three, seven days from now, what challenge may they be facing? Interesting, the Four of Swords. Now this actually nearly flipped itself, so it's a bit of a blockage here. I feel like your challenge is knowing when to rest while also knowing when to come to action. It's a feeling of there's a fine line here between oversleeping and getting enough sleep and really teetering that edge um, so that you're honoring your physical body while also honoring your your other needs like there's a feeling of um if it is safe to do so some of you need to get out of this cave and experience life again um while others of you you need to accept that it is time to rest it is time to use this opportunity to take to take rest to really look after yourselves because some of you actually you really need to with the bottom of this card being Lord of Rest from Strife, I feel like your circumstances have been challenging and now is the perfect opportunity to just look after yourself and take a breather. Um, whether that means sleeping or simply just taking things slowly, being really um, patient with yourself in this period, taking time to yourself, taking peaceful moments for yourself, embracing whatever period of inaction that you do have as well and using this um, productively to look after yourself physically. I really feel like there's an emphasis here on the physical, even though this is a sword card, it feels like physically you really need to be looking after yourself right now. So let's also have a look at the blessings that you may receive seven days from now. What blessings may group three, <laughs> we're up to three, come on, <laughs> receive seven days from now. What blessings we have. Oh, hello. Interesting. All right. So first of all, a fresh perspective. And I feel like this has to do with your heart. It's a fresh, blah, blah, blah. my mouth doesn't want to work with me today. It's a fresh perspective on something that has been keeping you um, stuck. I feel like your heart is in a place now where it needs to know what you're doing. It's like, okay, um, we know that this is how you feel, but how are we going to move forward now with these feelings? I really feel like um, you need to flip the switch here in order to move forward. And this is coming to you. The next card that I have is the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups reverse is indicating some sort of separation. This is actually a blessing though because it's allowing you the opportunity to embrace the situation for what it is. It's allowing you the opportunity to see clearly. You're being able to take that blindfold off and you're being able to appreciate the circumstances for what they are. I feel like some of you are forging a friendship that could eventuate into something more as well with the Two of Cups reverse. It's about taking it slow. There's also some sort of compromise that needs to happen in your emotional world, whether that's with this situation or another one. You have to understand your needs better, your emotional needs better, so that you're able to come to the party with a tangible compromise. Like, this is what I need. Um, what do you need? And let's make this work. I feel like this is a blessing because you do need time to examine your feelings further. There's a really this feeling of taking it slow seven days from now and examining how you truly feel so that you can move forward. With the Two of Pentacles reversed, I feel like you're simplifying your circumstances. This is a blessing because you're realizing that you've been carrying too much. You've been trying to make too much happen. You've been trying to, to come to grips with the fact that you can only do this for so long. 
You're making a clear path forward now. The Two of Pentacles is indicating you may be dropping something in order to focus on the other thing. I feel like this card is calling for simplicity. It's a blessing because you've been low-key wanting this, but I feel like you didn't necessarily know how to make it happen, and now it is happening. This is happening. Some of you are separating from something in order to focus on something else, but that's not happening seven days from now. That will happen eventually. Right now, you just need to focus on yourself, gaining this fresh perspective, using whatever time you have alone productively so that you're resting and looking after yourself um, and so that you're able to understand how to move forward here. I feel like slow and steady is the word for you guys. Slow and steady, Spirit is saying. Now let's have a look at in general what is happening seven days from now. For my group threes, hello. <laughs> oh, holy moly. How do I want to take these? Listen, I will take them upright. Um, <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit happening. Let me get your bottom deck energy. I don't think that all of these are supposed to be reversed, but they're moving like wildfire. So I just think that you have a lot of excitable energy around you. I do see a lot of happiness here. I see an opportunity to come together with someone who is going to inspire you to change your circumstances. But, um, and it's a good but, it's not a bad but, it's it's a slow change. So this isn't happening seven days from now, but eventually you're going to be able to plant something that is going to grow into a legacy. It's going to grow into a lifetime of, of fulfillment, of nourishment, of growth, of... No, oh, it's so exciting, my heart. Anyway, bottom deck energy is the nine of pentacles reverse. So this is interesting. In the next seven days, <laughs> I feel like that guy on YouTube in all the ads. In the next seven days, you are going to be called to focus on your own independence. It's going to be difficult because you're not going to have a lot of time to do so. Contradictory to your challenge here. I feel like your challenge is finding time to yourself productive time where you're able to reflect because with the nine of pentacles reversed there's a feeling of you're having to focus on other people's needs other people's success what other people want from you other people's time other people need this other people need that and blah 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 you're really needing to focus on your own individual needs your own individual health your own routine your own independence um, the next seven days is going to make you realize what you want and where where you've been lacking it's going to amplify areas of your life where you've been giving too much and where you're not receiving enough. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles reverse is this feeling of um, you feel like you've been cut short and now that you know that, you're wanting to change it. I definitely see that seven days from now, you're going to have the opportunity here to, it feels like some sort of reunion or union. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. In fact, uh, there may not be just two people, but literally, oh, Northern Lights by Kenny JD just came into my mind. There's this one line in that song, tonight is for the two of us. And so I don't know if like, this feels like it's some sort of celebration thing, but it doesn't matter because there's one person here in particular who brings you a lot of happiness and they have the ability to really lift your spirits and show you what true happiness within yourself looks like. And I think that this is pivotal because it amplifies areas of your life where you haven't been happy, where you haven't had your needs met. And seven days from now, this beautiful moment is something that is going to offer you a lot of memories, a lot of um, bliss. You might be even dancing, some of you. <laughs> Goodness. But yes, it feels like as this, this person inspires you to want more for yourself with the queen of wands reversed here then they're making you realize that you've cut yourself short you've got a lot of growing to do you've got a lot of untapped potential here and i don't know if this all unfolds <laughs> seven days from now <laughs> but it certainly is the catalyst this fuel has been added to your fire and now you're like goodness me i need to start doing this or how can I do this and that's why you're in the hanged man position up here that's why that's your blessing because you need to be in this energy um, when we know better we do better and I certainly feel like this opportunity is a, a bit of a catalyst here you're starting to realize that there's some potential within yourself that you haven't fully tapped into and I feel with the queen of wands there's a feeling of keeping this private to like 
You're almost not wanting to share this energy with other people. You're wanting to keep it to yourself until you understand it better. You're wanting to explore your options further. You're wanting to understand that passion a bit more better. <laughs> Is that a better way of saying it? I don't know. But I definitely feel like we're trying to fix our energy with this card. We're trying to change the trajectory. Can I say that word? so that we're more in line with our potential. Now this card is also talking about you feeling like you need to dial it back a little bit in order to do things appropriately. It's almost like something's gone and you're needing to like rein it in again and just let it let it happen in a in a more authentic way because sometimes the queen of wands energy reverse can be like passionately manipulative it's very lustful it's very like oh my gosh <laughs> she gonna make me act up type of energy <laughs> so <laughs> you almost need to like rein it in and and reflect and really think about things so that you're doing what is right for you here um the eight of wands let's talk about that the Eight of Wands energy is fast-moving energy. It did come out reversed initially, but then it flipped and, and twisted, and I was like, you know what, I'll just take it. I'll take it upright. Let's move ahead. <laughs> and that's the energy of you, like moving ahead, taking it upright. This Eight of Wands is a very optimistic energy. It's fast movement. It's also on this card being depicted by Mercury and Sagittarius. So taking your shot and moving forward with that energy. I also feel communication here. I always forget that lately not always but lately communication with this card so i definitely feel like something some talk some conversation someone's energy is going to really help you want to move things forward because for some of you you've been feeling stuck in at least one area of your life for some time i just saw 11 11 as well maybe significant for some of you um you've been feeling stuck in something for some time or you've just been looking for a sense of direction or or for a sense of drive maybe you had direction you just needed passion and motivation to do it and now it's happening you're feeling it build you don't want to share it yet but it's there the fire's well and truly ignited and you're just letting this kind of guide you forward now i feel like you're incredibly wise um or at least smart my group threes you're very knowledgeable you have a lot of information you've done a lot of research it's about sitting in that now so that you feel confident enough to move forward i think that that is where you are lacking is in confidence you definitely have the passion you have the information it's about feeling confident enough now to move forward with that we also have the ace of pentacles here so i definitely feel like this is all leading to an opportunity to ground something that is not only going to be very successful and potentially earn you money but it is also going to be something very long term, something that will commit to you as much as you commit to it. So the more energy you feed into this opportunity, the more energy that opportunity will feed into you. If it is, a, honestly, it feels multifaceted. It feels like this could be a relationship as well as a job, as well as like your lifestyle. Like it, it is multifaceted. It almost has this knock on effect for you guys. And once you're able to embrace this sense of direction now or this this confidence towards that direction you will start to see these opportunities grow whatever you feed into this you will receive back basically it's very balanced and the success has some sort of monetary gain for a lot of you it could be the start of a new business for some of you with the ace of pentacles it really could be a, a long-term relationship it could be a new business venture it could be a new lifestyle endeavor. It could be all of the above because it does feel like it has a knock-on effect. I'm also going to get some other cards. So we're going to use the deck of character. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. Deck of character. What can you tell my group threes about? Oh, that wasn't the best towards the end. They're seven days from now. My group threes. What is happening for them seven days from now? Group three, please. Seven days from now. Oh, oh, bed. Okay, yes. I'm so sorry, but it couldn't get more obvious. Group three, whatever time you have to yourself, use it to rest. Use it to really just look after yourself and make sure that you're um, productively using that time, you know, like actually resting, not just lying in bed playing games or <laughs> watching movies until 3 a.m. and only getting two hours sleep. Really look after yourself here with this bed card. You're being called to take some rest here, to look after number one, because how can number two, three, and four expect anything from you? 
I don't know why there's that many people expecting things from you, but how can anyone, how can anything happen if you're not looking after this vessel? You have to honor this vessel in order to achieve success in this lifetime. Um, again, no judgment. That's just the messages that come through. Group three, what is happening for them? Tongue. So you do have the opportunity to communicate with someone. I just heard tongue someone. So please wear protection. But tongue for me is more about communicating. And I feel like with the eight of wands here, what else am I looking at? There was something else here that gave me like a strong communication energy. The sun card as well. There's some sort of like reunion or coming together or celebration. And again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but I feel like there's one person in particular, seven days from now, there's something they say to you just really helps you feel like, oh, you know what? Yes, I need to get into this energy more. I need to examine this from a, a point of view of this is my passion, this is my purpose, this is my potential, and I'm going to take that and run with it. This person really sparks your fire. Whether The fire never really went out, but it's like they're throwing fuel onto it, and now we're able to expand and grow and move. We just needed that confidence, group three. So definitely some sort of communication is very pivotal in your overall journey forward. It's almost like you just needed that little boost of energy this person's giving you a little little boost to keep you going i feel like you guys are gamers i keep getting like <laughs> gaming references here ruler okay so checks and balances here p's and q's t's and i's i feel like you really need to pay attention to the finer details here something isn't adding up it's about really taking account for everything that's happening right now how can i word this better I just kind of feel like with the hanged man and this ruler, something isn't adding up and you know how to move forward. You just need to really pay attention to that. <laughs> you are someone who is very observant, I feel, and perhaps very aware of the subtle things. So pay attention to those subtle things because something isn't adding up here and we need to make the most out of this situation. With the ruler here, I'm just feeling like measuring and, and wanting things to be more like I feel like you're you're trying to expand something here but you're also trying to understand something better as well like checks and balances p's and q's t's and i's you're almost needing to really go through information and scour it and make sure that everything is there I just want to say be very like, don't be afraid to ask questions because you seem to be curiously needing more information. So whatever this is, if you have the opportunity to ask questions about it, do so, so that you have all the information you need in order to get out of your hanged man energy. Because this hanged man energy is a knock-on effect that is affecting every part of your life. And once you move forward in one area, you're going to feel other areas of your life move forward as well. So ask the questions necessary so that you feel more confident and able to move forward because something isn't adding up here. And I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to talk to someone. So use that opportunity to get all the information that you need. We have poet. Okay. So creative outlets here. Um, this is cute, but I don't know why I'm getting this energy that someone's written a poem about somebody. But anyway, the poet is a very soft, creative soul, someone who is sensitive, but very aware, self-aware and hyper aware of other people. So I feel like your observant energy, your reflective energy is leading to some sort of like inward growth, some sort of transformation here. And I feel like with the poet, this is a side to you that maybe you need to really step into right now. Doesn't mean you have to broadcast it to everybody, but I definitely feel like there's something within you that needs to be created. <laughs> and it's about really stepping into that creative energy, allowing this creative energy to take rein. It may be a softer side of you that you're not comfortable being in for very long, and that's okay. You don't have to, but I think right now you do, you, you are being called to create something or to really step into this creative energy of being this sensitive, aware person who is aware of themselves and others. There's kindness in this card as well. So I feel like you have the opportunity to really connect with someone in particular. There's one person in particular um, who is really going to help steer you into the direction that you've been craving. It's going to be an, event, an eventual 
change of events in terms of your external. But seven days from now, you're going to feel very much, oh, very much in your feels. Like the energy is very pure here with this card. It just feels so lovely. And it's low-key giving me tears. But I just feel like there's a beautiful, soft, innocent nature behind this card that is asking for you to step into that energy because it will lead to some sort of creation. Let's get some affirmation cards as well, shall we? What affirmations may be helpful for group three? What affirmations may be helpful for group three? Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get this one first. Okay, so we have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to life, light, sorry, not life. <laughs> now this card, interestingly enough, has like the sun on it as well. So I definitely feel like you're being called to be in a, in a softer, more open, receptive to love energy, whether that love is platonic or or um, family-based or romantic, like there is something here pulling at your heartstrings and this is helping you gain a fresh perspective on your circumstances. This is helping you feel more motivated towards your goals. This affirmation may be very powerful for you just to sort of keep you in this energy of being open to creation. We also have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So we are being triggered by something here and it's keeping us stagnant, but that wasn't the aim of this situation. This trigger was meant to be temporary so that we were able to embrace the feelings deeper. So this affirmation could be helpful to let you, to help you get through those triggers so that you're able to feel where that true healing lies below the surface. And your bottom deck energy is, oh my days, I love this so much. Happiness is my birthright. Yes, it is. It is everybody's. We can't make everyone happy. So the least we can do is try to make ourselves happy. And you are going to have the opportunity to be happy. We've got all these suns here and this beautiful sun. Like, oh, you have such a beautiful, pure energy, my group threes. I'm sending you so much love and light on your journey. I hope my washing machine wasn't too distracting. I feel like I'm competing with V8 supercars right now, trying to project my voice over. <laughs> Look after your wonderful selves. Always take what resonates. Do not let the rest take from you. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Hi, group four, and welcome. If you chose this gorgeous granite type of stone or rock, then this is going to be your reading. My nail polish is shocking, but you know what? It's the least of my worries right now. So... Let us get into this beautiful reading for you, my group fours. We're going to be asking Spirit about your seven days from now. This is intended to be a timeless reading. However, you may find that these messages resonate for right here, right now. <laughs> um, I definitely think that this is a reading that we need. It's not necessarily the reading I wanted to do, but I feel like as a collective, this is maybe more useful. So I'll, I'll get into some of the ooey gooey love stuff later on in another video for right now let's focus on what's happening seven days from now for you so i'm going to be looking at your challenge first we'll have a look at what potential challenge you may face seven days from now and then we'll have a look at your blessing so what challenge may group four face seven days from now we have the three of cups reversed okay that's interesting um, it's a couple of things. Okay, so for some of you, there was some sort of reunion that you're expecting to happen that isn't going to go ahead due to a change of circumstances. For others of you, this, there's some sort of situation that you were hoping for that has become a lot more serious now. For others of you, you're becoming aware of um, some sort of interference in an emotional issue that you were invested in. For others of you, I feel that the Three of Cups is, is your challenge is to stay playful, to stay fun, to, to embrace um, opportunities of joy in your life. That is going to be the challenge here. With the Lord of Abundance being at the bottom of this card and this card being reversed, I feel like the challenge is seeing a way out of the seriousness and being able to focus more on your joy and what will bring you joy in this situation. I think that this is a challenge for you because... Whatever's happening here, it's pulling at your heart. And it's hard for you to see clearly when your heart is being affected. But 
Let's have a look at what blessings you may face. Group, we're not at one. <laughs> Group four. <laughs> what blessings may they face in the next seven days? I didn't say that though. It's okay, so we're actually getting some sort of public recognition here. We're getting a success. We're getting a win. As serious and as emotionally challenging as this circumstance may be, we are getting some sort of recognition. With the chariot reverse, there is a feeling as though we're not moving forward in the way that we had hoped, but we're still moving forward. The ace of cups reverse, that's interesting. An opportunity to focus more on ourselves rather than on others. A blessing here is also with justice, things coming into balance, the light and the dark working together. Um, we also have the Three of Pentacles reverse, so collaborating with the right people, maybe keeping something private until you feel more comfortable. But I definitely feel like you're working on something here that could lead to a lot more success once your circumstances allow it. I feel like you're seeing early success, early recognition. Something is, is balancing out in a way that you're able to not just see the bad, but the good. And you're also having an opportunity here to focus on your own energy with the ace of cups reverse we're focusing on self self-love self-nurturing being ready to offer this opportunity to others as well i feel like your emotions are really calling for you to dial it back don't overextend yourself seven days from now that is the blessing here is that you almost had some sort of missed opportunity with your heart and it's actually helping you focus more on other areas of your life and what may be necessary for you as well. Maybe this wasn't meant to be a part of your life right now. Doesn't mean it isn't going to be in the future. What is meant for you won't miss you. But for right now, you needed to become aware of this so that you were able to focus on other areas of your life. The Three of Pentacles reversed. You may be working on something right now that, that needs to stay a little bit private for a little while as well. It's not yet ready to be offered onto other people's shoulders, if that makes sense. I feel like your blessing over here is that you're working with the right people, but that doesn't mean that you need to involve everyone in the picture. The Three of Pentacles is like a collaborated effort, but when it's reversed, I think of someone doing something privately instead or, or just only involving key people. Not everybody needs to know what's going on over here. Justice is saying that the truth is coming to light in a way that is offering you success and recognition, um, as well as a sense of accomplishment, because you've put a lot of work into this or you were... You are energetically really gunning for this to happen, and it did. It is. I feel like this turn of events is going to lead to more success, but with the chariot reversed, it's almost like you needed this challenge to happen so that you could focus on other areas. Right now, your emotions need to just recalibrate and rest. It isn't the primary focus seven days from now. The other areas of your life need more attention. We have fire, air, and earth here, and the only water cards are reversed. So I feel like seven days from now, we're focusing on, on what we think, where our passions lie, and what is being demanded of us physically, or at least materially. In terms of our material progress, where we're focusing more on um, grounding things personally before we allow other people to join us in our endeavors. In terms of our thoughts and actions, we're looking for balance. We're looking for a sense of equality of, of this and that joining together to, to create a balanced outcome. We're also seeking truth in our actions and in our words. In terms of our energies and our passions, we're, we're, again, we're wanting balance. We're also wanting recognition for the effort that we put in. We're wanting people to see us as we deserve to be seen, to treat us as we deserve to be treated. And because of that, we're not allowing our emotions to change these core values. So there's a lot of success here. There's a lot of blessings because you're coming from a very powerful standpoint of honoring values and how you wish to be treated. Um, unfortunately, what that does mean is that you're cutting out. Well, I don't want to say unfortunately because this challenge is actually a blessing. You're cutting out people who aren't serious about this, who can't respect that about you and who aren't able to come to the plate with something that is going to be fulfilling right here, right now. With the Three of Cups reversed, I definitely feel like you were expecting something to happen and it didn't, so your heart is, is feeling a little bit conflicted here. But I definitely feel that um, it's not too... Like, what is meant for you won't miss you, is what I want to say, because... This may be some sort of reunion that you were gunning for, and just because it can't happen seven days from now doesn't mean it won't happen at all. 
let's have a look at the general energy as well. I'm going to get more cards to... I keep getting hiccups. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to get more cards as well to see what other... Uh, or generally what is going to be happening seven days from now, regardless of the challenges and the blessings. What else is happening for you? Seven days from now, my group fours, what can they expect? Seven days from now, what may happen for group four? Oh, hello. Okay, nice. I like that. Anything else, please? My group fours. Thank you. I see. Um, one more, please. I know. I wasn't supposed to shuffle that, apparently. I was supposed to take the bottom deck card, but that's okay. What is happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> Such theatrics. All right, let's try to make this <laughs> a little easier to look at. Okay. Push those over there, and we'll show you the bottom deck energy, which is two of wands. Okay, so... It's time to plan, my group fours. It's time to plan. It's time to understand your circumstances better so that you are able to move forward. The two of wands is asking for you to expand your horizon in a way that um, don't invest in anything yet, but certainly explore your options here. Um, with Lord of Dominion, you have a lot of control over the outcome here. So really just explore the options that you have. Explore your different pathways, whether you're focusing on love or I don't think that you will be though. Seven days from now, you're going to be focusing on everything else in your life. So it's time to really explore your options and be assertive with your communication so that you're able to better gain a, a, a deeper or a, a better scope of, of the opportunity as well. It's almost like you need to ask more questions to curiously entertain your possibilities. The first card that came out for you was the Ten of Wands reversed. This is the Lord of Oppression card. It's reversed because I feel that seven days from now, you're really understanding where your responsibilities lie and where other people are falling short. You are embracing your truth and your actions and your communication reflect this as well. So you're almost needing to call people out on this. I see some of you hesitating to do so. Some of you don't feel comfortable being confrontational while others of you <laughs> are going to struggle to hold back. You're really going to be like, hey, listen, it's not okay for you to put these expectations on me. I'm only one person. I'm fulfilling my duties. You need to come up to the plate and <laughs> start doing what needs to be done as well. Um, I definitely feel like we're feeling called to call people out on where they've been lacking in terms of their responsibilities and their duties as well. You're very much seeing straight through this now. It's almost like if you're not calling people out, people are coming to you and saying, group four, I really need you to do this and I need you to do that. And you're going, wait, I can't, I'm busy. I'm focusing on myself, focusing on my own stuff. I've got a lot going on. Thank you for recognizing that I'm capable and able to, but I can't right now. I need to focus on my own project. Now we also have the Six of Pentacles over here. The Six of Pentacles upright is honoring that equal give and take energy in terms of time, in terms of resources. This is about knowing when to give and knowing when to take as well. So I feel like with the Three of Pentacles reversed, that was your other Pentacles card, you're keeping some things private while also knowing who to give to because they are going to give back to you equally. I feel like this isn't necessarily balanced yet, but it will be with this card because you're really seven days from now. You're only giving your time to people who are going to give time back to you. You're not wasting your time on people who are just unaware of, of how much they take. And I feel like the Six of Pentacles is a feeling of you investing in something. It could be monetarily as well that is going to be rewarding. It's going to be balanced. It's going to give as much as you give. Um, some of you may have the opportunity to pay off a loan as well, or others of you are taking on a loan that is going to pay itself off, if that makes sense. Like it's very rewarding. Whatever you're investing in here, whether it's time or money, it is, it is giving as much as you're taking. Well, that makes sense, <laughs> doesn't it? It is taking as much as you give. It's very balanced. <laughs> Let's keep it at that. It's very balanced. It's going to pay off. Um, the, <laughs> the card next to that is the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups upright is walking away from something that no longer serves you. And that's where we're at emotionally. You're wiser now. Something happened here with your heart space. And it was a challenge because you weren't expecting it. 
um, but it had to happen because it's time to focus on what truly matters here. And you're going to take time for yourself. I don't see you rushing to, to remedy the situation. In fact, I see you taking time here with the Ace of Cups reversed to really focus on your yourself, your self-love, your self-nurturing, um, your self-care, and, and walking away from what no longer serves your heart because this was not leading to success. And I feel like some sort of truth has been revealed here so that you are more wiser and able to invest in things that will give to you as much as, as you give to them. With the Knight of Swords reversed, you're hesitating from taking impulsive action, but I do feel like your mind is overactive. I feel like the urge to, to send that, that text is there. The, the urge to speak your mind is there, but you're really trying to restrain yourself. The Knight of Swords reversed is also asking for you to just really reconsider before you send something through that you might regret. I see something being sent out of spite and you regretting it later down the track. So really reconsider sending something that isn't true to your nature. Um, finding other healthier alternatives to purge that energy as well so that it doesn't just nestle into you and become this seed of spite. Um, the Knight of Swords reversed is also asking for you to take your time with something to really think about it first before impulsively committing yourself to it. I definitely feel like we just need to take the back seat on some things here with this card reversed and the chariot reversed. We don't have to rush into anything that we're not yet fully comfortable being in. This card is also asking for you to keep an open mind about something as well. So something about your circumstances is changing and you really need to keep an open mind about it. It isn't yet happening, but seven days from now, um, don't rush into action. Allow the information to unfold naturally and then make up your mind once you feel that um, urge to act. It's almost like let that impulse pass and then wait for the information to sink in so that you can make a wiser choice. Now, the Hermit at the end of your reading is asking for you to not isolate yourself unnecessarily. We're in a time now, this is a timeless reading, but this is a weird time of the world where isolating is natural. Quarantining and isolating yourself is actually health ordered, like it's a government issued for many of us. So the, the struggle here for you is to not do this unnecessarily. Stay connected in other ways if you can. You don't have to be in this part of your journey alone. Um, honor your inner wisdom, but don't be afraid to reach out for help if you feel that you've become too isolated, if you feel that you just need connection. It doesn't mean that you need advice, because I definitely think with the Hermit here, you have a lot of wisdom within you, but don't discredit the power of support and connection. And there are ways to feel connected to someone without being physically connected, especially if you are in, in physical isolation, using other methods of communication to stay connected here with the Hermit. So let's use other decks as well to get some other messages. Alrighty. I also feel with this card being under the Justice card, some of you had some sort of truth within you all along that is only just coming out now. And it's very difficult for you to, to feel comfortable within yourself again. You're, you're struggling or at least you're, you're realizing that you can trust yourself. You can trust your inner voice. That inner voice is like gold that can't be sold. It's priceless. It's, it's completely unique to you. And it's something that you had suspected a long time ago that is coming to life seven days from now. And now it's, it's almost challenging you to, to trust that voice when it speaks again. All right, so group four, please. What other messages do you have about their seven days from now? Group four. We have the candle, so burning something um, in the sense of holding hope for something. I feel like this candle is about honoring what has lost, what has been lost, and also maintaining hope for what may be. Like, honestly, this feels like a vigil candle. It's about respecting whatever happened in the past or respecting... Um, yourself and what you've been through at least in your past circumstances as well as oh my gosh I'm so sorry about my washing machine <laughs> as well as holding hope for who you may be and who you are yet to become this is like this is crazy my washing machine is about to take flight <laughs> I'm so sorry group four <laughs> I haven't put it on this fast of a spin cycle in, in a long time and I always film when I do washing it's like the free hour and a half that I have all right, so 
my group fours, what else can you tell us about this seven days from now? Group four, seven days from now, please. Farmer, so we're cultivating something here, but I feel you wanting to grow this as an individual, and that's okay. But I do do, I do do, <laughs> I do definitely think that there is, there are people who may be able to help you. You're just not ready to incorporate their two cents yet, and that's fine. Um, seven days from now, you're definitely focusing on areas of your life that you can control, more the physical, I want to say, in terms of your health, in terms of your time, in terms of your money. You're not wanting to delve deep into your emotions. In fact, for you, I think that a strong part of your healing is focusing on your health or focusing on your work or that's a part of your process for you is focusing on gardening for some of you the farmer card is saying that you are cultivating something though seven days from now and there's just a hesitancy to involve other people and that's okay because you're going to be recognized for something anyway um, when the time is right i definitely feel that there are people who are able to support you with this project or whatever you're growing anything else you can tell group four about their seven days ahead oops we have the fairy so I'm hearing make a wish make a wish with the fairy card here if that, if that helps you stay optimistic I definitely feel that your guides are trying to help you elevate your circumstances here and regardless of what's happened emotionally you are receiving success in other areas of your life for a reason because this does end up having a catalyst effect. When we focus on one area of our lives, all areas of our lives are holistically impacted. We can't pretend that this isn't going to impact our heart, but certainly focusing on other areas seems to help heal your heart. So your guides are asking for you to make a wish and to really trust that they are trying to give you the best possible outcome in this situation as well. I feel like some of you have some sort of fairy godmother or godfather who is really looking after you and working closely with you to make your dreams come true. Don't be afraid to call on your guides for support or for guidance and then allow yourself a quiet place to pay attention to the signs that they give you as well. Bulldozer, we're clearing out the old. We're walking away from what doesn't serve us. In fact, we're annihilating it. We're telling it to move, get out the way, pushing it out. I feel that some of you are really purging something and then you're proactively working on the other areas of your life. Your life is currently under construction, my group fours. Bottom deck energy is spatula, flipping over a new side of the pancake. The last side was burnt, but that's okay. We can start fresh here. We can flip it over. And if it doesn't work, we can flip it out and start a new batch. The spatula is a real strong energy of flipping something. So whatever's happened here, you're not going to dwell in that energy for too long. Seven days from now, I see you really taking a more proactive approach to other areas of your life. Let's have a look at what affirmation card may be helpful for you. Group four, please, Spirit. Seven days from now, what card may be helpful for my group fours? Seven days from now. We have thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. I actually like this because I think that this is going to help keep your energy light. I do feel an underlying sadness, but I see you not wanting to dwell in it. So this affirmation card could be very helpful in you fulfilling what you want to do by keeping your energy light. Your bottom deck energy here is, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams, absolutely. And you are receiving one-on-one -on -one guidance from a very specific angel. So absolutely talk to your guides call on them for support and guidance and in general yeah just support because you're out here making things happen <laughs> so dream big make a wish and trust that your guides are trying to deliver you the best possible outcome here group four that is the message that i have for you seven days from now it's very interesting i hope that you received a bit of clarity with this reading i hope if anything it just confirmed what you may already know do always trust yourself as your primary source of guidance um take what resonates do not let the rest take from you and i shall see you in another video bye